This video will cover the use of a micropuncture set to gain central venous access. This is a micropuncture set. It contains four key pieces of equipment. The first is a 0.018 inch micro wire. This is substantially smaller than the normal wire contained in a central line kit. There's an introducing aid, which is optional and helps to pass the wire easily into the needle. There's a 21 gauge venipuncture needle with a beveled tip as usual. And then there is a four French sheath introducer. The sheath introducer has two components. It has the sheath itself, and then it has an obturator through the middle. Importantly, in the pre-assembled state, you will only fit the 0.018 micro wire through the sheath introducer. You will not be able to fit a standard 0.038 or 0.035 wire through this introducer. When the obturator is removed, there's a four French sheath that remains in place and can accept a normal sized 0.035 or 0.038 J wire or other kind of venous wire. We'll use this to exchange the micro wire for a normal sized central venous access wire. Arrange your equipment in the usual fashion. Here, you will see that equipment is set up in the order of which it will be needed. Starting with venipuncture, the microwire, the four French sheath introducer, the larger J-tip 0.038 inch wire, dilator, and finally the central line. You optionally may also have a scalpel to create a skin nick between the 0.035 wire and the dilator as we're using a smaller 7 French 3 lumen line. You should check that the equipment is working including retracting the J-tip of the wire back into the wire holder. Prepare the site in the usual fashion with skin prep using alcoholic chlorhexidine, a drape, and local anesthesia. Find the vessel to be cannulated. In this case, we're using a simulated right internal jugular vein. Ultrasound should be used for this. Once the point of cannulation is determined, Take the venipuncture needle and perform venipuncture. Ensuring that the needle is placed well inside the vessel. Remove the syringe and occlude the end of the needle as usual. Take the micro wire and insert it into the venipuncture needle, ensuring that the wire feeds easily. Remove the venipuncture needle leaving only the micro wire in place. Confirm venous placement with ultrasound. It's often useful to look in plane with the ultrasound 
as the wire is quite small. Once venous placement of the wire has been confirmed, take the four French sheath introducer and railroad it over the top of the 0.018 micro wire. It is not necessary to make a skin nick. Ensuring control of the wire at all times, place the sheath introducer and then remove the micro wire. At this stage, you are not able to pass the normal J-tip wire through this sheath until you remove the obturator. Remove the obturator, being mindful to occlude the end of the sheath. Take your normal J-tip wire, ensuring that it is fully retracted and insert into the sheath until your desired length. And standard central line placement may proceed